Well, the former CEO of Canadian food delivery platform Skip the Dishes has been appointed as the COO, the chief operating officer, at Irene that bills itself as Canada's first online funeral services provider. We have to hear about the transition here and what has brought him from one industry into another very different one. So let's bring in Kevin Edwards, former CEO of Skip the Dishes and COO of Irene Cremations. Thanks so much for making time for us this afternoon, Kevin. Oh, thank you very much for having me. I appreciate uh, the opportunity. So, uh, yeah, an interesting transition here. Um, you did ret retire from Skip the Dishes. This is the, <laughs> the Canadian um, online food delivery business. It, you retired after um, leading the company from 2018 to 2022. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, actually, officially retired at the end of uh, last year. and uh, Okay. Spent a year, uh, you know, Relaxing a bit. Uh, it was rather hectic uh, four or five years, certainly uh, leading through COVID, and uh, and uh, took uh, some time to uh, figure out what's next. I mean, I, I never really wanted to retire completely, and uh, I served on a few advisory boards, and Irene was uh, was one of them. Okay, so tell us what you like about uh, Irene Cremations. Why that caught your eye? Well, I think it's it's a it's similar in the sense that it's a very disruptive uh, business model. I mean, we're we're really disrupting a very old traditional uh, industry in the and the funeral business. It's an it's an online platform, um, and really a a very flexible, simple way to uh, to take care of um, uh, your loved one's uh, cremation. Uh, it's transparent, it's 24-7, uh, it's really just a different disruptive model. So is that sort of what you, you know, you feel like you help bring to this company? What, you, what, what sort of, you know, aspects do you think you take from Skip the Dishes um, uh, to this new venture? Well, and I, and I, this is, this is no false humility. I, I, I'm learning every day. I'm, I'm joining two very amazing uh, young founders, uh, uh, Mallory Green and uh, Faisal Abid, and uh, for me, um, you know, I'm learning about the business that they're in. Uh, Mallory is the uh, daughter of a, of a of a funeral director, and so she has a real passion for this business. What I'm bringing, I guess, is uh, a, uh, you know some some you know deep, rich uh, experience around how to scale a uh, uh, a business, and uh, certainly we did that at Skip and. You know what to focus on. Um, we also have some challenges, of course, in uh, in scaling and and uh, you know going to uh, to new markets. We we plan in the near future to launch in uh, the U.S., but right now we've got some um, significant expansion plans uh, in Canada. We're in five provinces right now, and we're going to expand beyond that. And of course, there's always the challenge of uh, of raising capital. We're we're blessed right now to have been supported by. Um, um, top tier uh, VCs, and uh, you know, but as you're as you're building and scaling a business, you need to constantly look at uh, new sources of, of investment. So, you know, I'm I'm going to help the team uh, build a brand and uh, take on some of the the functions so that uh, uh, Mallory can be out there uh, evangelizing about the business and the platform and. Uh, and hopefully, raising more money. Yeah. What What is the fundraising environment like right now? Do you think? Well, I think what's well, I mean, it's it's obviously tough. But yeah. if you've got a business that is uh, 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 on the precipice, uh, very close to being profitable, that's an easier story to tell. It certainly is uh, is the case for Irene. Um, we are uh, we're a very well run business. Um, they have uh, they've taken on you know just recently uh, um, uh, investment, but uh, for the most part. Uh, you know, it was, uh, they had some early investors. Uh, it, it's nearly bootstrapped now. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's very close to profitability. In fact, we believe we're going to be there mid-year. So uh, it's a great story to tell. Um, you know, growth is very important, but being able to prove uh, profitability is, uh, is even more so today. And just give us a bit on the, the logistics here for, for Irene. I, I understand there's two, there's at least two different services that you could be asking for, your sort of regular uh, cremation service and then an aquamation service as well. And then this is all done 
um, digitally in terms of the, the requests um, for, for these services, or how does it yeah, work? Yeah, I mean, you would contact us uh, online or, 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 or by phone. Um, our, you would be connected, and, uh, and the entire process would be handled by one of our licensed funeral directors. So it's, uh, it's very intimate, very compassionate. Um, you know, our people are, uh, couldn't be more uh, passionate about um, serving our, our families. Um, we, we take care of the whole process from, you know, all of the paperwork and, uh, and everything else that is required. And I think what is most unique is hand deliver um, uh, your loved one's remains. Uh, so it's, um, it's really a new, unique way to approach it. And I, I think the business is definitely built um, by funeral directors who, who really feel like there's a, there's a better way to serve Canadians. 75% of Canadians choose uh, cremation. And um, you know, in the U.S., it's uh, it's at a high rate as well. So right, right. there's lots of there's lots of people that are looking for a, a, a different experience.